Wood is on the hot seat today amid the fallout over a string of teen suicides attributed to bullying. The trailer for an upcoming movie is being criticized as insensitive. CNN's Brooke Anderson says, for a town that's viewed as politically enlightened, the film The Dilemma is certainly causing one. I got some serious ladywood here. This coming attraction is attracting major controversy. The trailer for the new Vince Vaughn comedy, The Dilemma, begins with these lines. Electric cars are gay. I mean, not homosexual gay, but, you know, my parents are chaperoning the dance gay. As the country reckons with a rash of anti-gay bullying incidents, some with tragic results, the preview debuted at an especially sensitive time. This is a trailer that's attached to the number one movie in the country, so it was seen by millions of people. Alonzo Duralde of MovieLine.com has written extensively yeah, yeah. about gay imagery I in Hollywood that. films. He finds the dilemma so joke troubling because it comes out of the blue. But to come out of nowhere and just pop out of Vince Vaughn's mouth, it's sort of like, it's kind of shocking, frankly. Really catch you off guard. Yeah, there's no context. Despite Hollywood's reputation as a liberal bastion where many openly gay people are employed, plenty of movies contain what some believe are anti-gay messages. Examples okay. abound, Jeez, like I, this from okay. the 40-year-old virgin. But waxing your chest is like the gayest thing you could possibly do. The Hangover. Do me a favor, don't text me, it's gay. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. You may kiss the husband. When it comes time for Adam Sandler and Kevin James to have to kiss each other, they have to get all ew about it. It's just like, okay, I, I know you meant well, but rewrite. And from Hot Tub Time Machine, which came out in March. I've had a lot of girlfriends, hot ones. You have had lots of boyfriends, gay ones. It's not coming from a sort of politically enlightened place that sort of sounds thuggish. Glad the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation tracks media depictions of gay people. It notes improvement in how gay issues are treated in dramas. You don't see stereotyped images nearly as much anymore. You see positive storylines now. Glad says the problem is with another genre. But what we haven't seen so much progress is on the comedy side, the humor side. Uh, comedy is still in need of catching up. Glad sees a direct link between movie humor at the expense of gays and anti-gay bullying in schools. That bullying comes from somewhere. It comes from social attitudes that are often perpetuated by comedies that are telling jokes. The way that, that so many of us really learn to perceive the world is through what we see in the movies and what we see on television. MovieLine.com's Alonzo Duralde says Hollywood plays a powerful role in shaping perceptions of what it means to be gay. That's where we learn lessons about what is acceptable and how to behave. We learn these things from, from the movies. I'm not gonna lie, I love your boyfriend. Come in here. This is great. Oh, don't ever let me go. In response to criticism over the dilemma, Universal Pictures agreed to recut the trailer, deleting the electric cars are gay line. CNN asked the studio if it plans to remove the scene from the film, which is slated for release in January. Universal declined to comment. Brooke Anderson, CNN, Hollywood. With the rock. All right, it appears that actor Vince Vaughn appears that he is taking this seriously because he's released a statement uh, through his publicist, and here's what it says. He says, let me add my voice of support to the people outraged by the bullying and persecution of people for their differences, whatever those differences may be. Comedy and joking about our differences breaks tension and brings us together. Drawing dividing lines over what we can and cannot joke about does exactly that. It divides us. Most importantly... Where does it stop? That's from actor Vince Vaughn. And the president of the gay and lesbian rights group called GLAAD, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, issued this statement in response to what Vaughn had to say. Jokes can bring people together, but they can also push us apart. When gay is used as a pejorative, it frequently sends a message, particularly to youth and their bullies, that being gay is wrong and something to laugh at. We invite Vince Vaughn to work with us and help ensure that gay youth and those perceived to be gay aren't put in harm's way by such jokes. This is a story we will definitely be following here on CNN.